Hello and welcome back. This is a uh, follow-up to my uh, garage sale findings recently and I'm looking here at the uh, dummy load. So I hooked it up to the uh, MFJ here and I'm not liking what I'm seeing here. Right hand side there on the resistance What is that? You know, that's uh, that's not 50, and uh, that's not even close. So, uh, a little bit disappointing, but uh, I can uh, get over that. I can follow up on this other project that's uh, been on hold for a while. This here is a 800 watt 50 ohm dummy load. Just need to uh, hook it up to a good heat sink. So the idea then is to, here's that heat sink I picked up as well too. This is uh, not going to be good enough, but here's the idea, is to uh, get something such as, something probably, uh, you know, one, two, you know, maybe uh, almost three times the size of this. And then use this as a hosing. Let's uh, pull the cover off and uh, take a look at uh, what we got inside. Well, ain't that pretty slick? So there's uh, six of these tubes, and uh, they're just clamped in there. And it looks like we've got some kind of copper So it's possible. <coughs> I might be able to, um, I'm just thinking, I'm just looking here that the copper's already coming off. If these units If they still check out ohm-wise, and it's just a matter of uh, contact not being made, I can easily just wrap that with some um, some copper. Yeah, that's just all flaking off. So that's the uh, the obvious. Is that? Uh, We've got, uh, who knows how many years, 40, 50 years of uh, aging going on here. And if I can save that might be just something, something to go on. Let's see what I can find out. Things are getting a little nasty here. So the top three tubes came out. But for me to get those bottom tubes out, I'm gonna have to uh, do a little more disassembly. So I'm gonna have to do, take those brackets off. And then up front, 
shouldn't be in sufficient gap there for me to pop that out. So I will have to disconnect these standoffs here. So if anything, I am uh, documenting here things so that uh, I got something to review when I want to try and put it back together. Well, let me proceed. Time for some measurements. Eighty-five. Seventy three, seventy six, Seventy-one. Not very consistent. So the way these are hooked up. So the top three are in parallel. And then they are joined by the bottom three in parallel and add up. So uh, add these up, divide by three, divide by three, and then add together. Supposed to be 52 ohm. Here's the numbers calculated. So the top row of getting 25.9 uh, ohm, bottom row 25.4, add them two together and they've got 51.3 ohm. I like that. So uh, I don't know what uh, my MFJ meter was telling me. Maybe it's just a matter of me taking all this apart and cleaning it up that uh, when I put it back together, maybe the uh, MFJ will be, uh, we'll see what it uh, comes up with. But uh, those are the hard uh, facts, so um, that's good. I think what I'd like to do is maybe uh, recopperize -cop these ends, but uh, let me uh, just put it together and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, got everything uh, plugged back in. Let's uh, measure. Well, that's looking pretty good. 51.5 ohm. That's pretty close to 52. Okay, let's uh, hook up the MFG here.
same result as uh, what I initially started off with. Resistance that's showing about 30 ohm at 28 megahertz. So I'm gonna go with that. And the previous information I got, I've uh, haven't used this MFJ too much. It's not brand new, and uh, I got a good deal on it. And uh, I'm starting to think I know why now. <laughs> so if there's something I can calibrate in the MFJ, if somebody knows, please tell. And if it's just a uh, pot adjust, highly unlikely, but... Or do I have to send it back to MFJ? Or should I? Okay, well... I uh, also, I don't know, haven't done any research on this to find out uh, what kind of power rating I've uh, got to work with here, but uh, I'll do some additional research and if somebody has some additional info, please share. And I think I may want to uh, get a little more conductivity on these ends here in some fashion. I'm going to guess this is some kind of copper tube, not copper, carbon. And uh, if I can get some better uh, connection here on these ends, I would like that as well too. So, Not going to happen today, but uh, we got 52 ohms. That's positive. Positive. We're going to end things there for now, and uh, I'll move on to the other items I got to work with as well too. Thanks for watching. See ya.